So Clark Summit every single year hosts the Memorial Day Parade. And right as we speak, they are currently going to different cemeteries and things and presenting a tribute to the fallen soldiers who, you know, lost their lives because of freedom. And then they end with a fireman's parade. Well, actually, it's a big parade. And then they stop at the VFW, which is up at the top of the hill, and have their ceremony. Blow your horn! <laughs> Today we are getting the day started off right. We are going on a Memorial Day adventure, going up to see some fire trucks, but the most important thing is to pay tribute to the warriors who did not make it back for our country. So welcome to the video today, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Memorial Day adventure. It is uh, electric blue skies. It just is for a Memorial Day service. So let's have some fun. It's gonna be a nice day. <sighs> so this is my plan today. It's already getting really hot. We are going to take the scooter and travel around the town and just get some scenery in and hopefully be here for then the parade and we will cruise around and just get an idea of like the what's going on today and yeah and hopefully end at the VFW but I might not we'll see it's still gonna be a good video The streets <clears throat> are quiet right now, ladies and gentlemen. The chairs represent something is coming, but what? I should have took my allergy medicine today. So Clark Summit every single year hosts the Memorial Day Parade, presenting a tribute to the fallen soldiers who, you know, lost their lives. Then they end with a fireman's parade, well actually it's a big parade, and then they stop at the VFW, which is up at the top of the hill, and have their ceremony, which is the final ceremony of the day. I have not missed one parade since I was 14 years old, and that is... COVID kind of messed it up the a couple years, but we're back on today. So we're making sure we're gonna document that and talk about some fun things here. The parade will line up here. It'll line up this road, go right down this way, down that over that bridge and into town. Right now they're, like I said, doing their cemetery uh, services, which is awesome. I think the goal of my video today is to not only pay tribute, but to bring some of you who can't get out of the house some great joy and peace in the beautiful scenery that is today. Memorial Day is the start of my happiness and the beginning of parade season, and I just want to say thank you for watching this video and supporting this channel because this is how we bring more content like this to you. I hope you're enjoying because there's a lot more to come. Let's go. Guys, this is my... All right, I want to be honest with you. So, since I've been riding the scooter around today, I just want to say this is my favorite time of the year. Uh, Memorial Day, I always used to say, being at the fire service, Memorial Day is the start of my happiness because it's the start of parade season, which is my favorite, and that means it's the start of nice temperatures. So, what better way to ring in the summertime than a good tribute to freedom we're back to normal operations here. We're back to have fun. You could see some uh, classic cars coming. Maybe they'll be in the parade. Hey, everyone. Um, go probably heading up the VFW, actually. So we're about to have a great day. Praise God. And this is where it will end up, ladies and gentlemen. Folks. <clears throat> oh, lost my voice. Folks. 
Kyle here. I'm standing on the top of Clark Summit, Pennsylvania, a great little town in Northeast PA. If you're ever looking for a place to live, I think you should pick Clark Summit. You'll be surprisingly happy. Grew up here my entire life. We are about to start the Memorial Day, well not yet, we still got a couple hours yet, but Memorial Day parade service for the VFW and for the veterans of foreign wars and those who have lost their lives for freedom. And we got the scooter. And we are just enjoying this beautiful day, absolutely beautiful weather. So I hope you come right along with me so I could, sh you go so I could share this with you and that you could be blessed by this wonderful video. Let's get started. As you can see here, we have Chinchilla Hose Company, which is our neighboring fire company, getting lined up for formation here. And you'll see some of the other trucks actually start to line up on this road as well. This is the beginning of the parade. Get ready. So we still got a little bit of time left here. But I found myself a nice, uh, nice spot in the shade, actually. I'm starting to rethink maybe riding around the entire town and just sitting here the whole time. This is nice. Temperature is absolutely beautiful today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, couldn't ask for a better day for, for parade day. It is just absolutely magnificent. Uh, I'm probably gonna go ride around a little bit, maybe go chit chat with some of the guys from the firehouse or something. So, but it's all about getting some good video today and sharing some encouragement and positivity here on the channel. Okay, enough chit chat, let's dive into this parade. Practicing and getting set up everyone. The annual Memorial Day Parade here in the Abingtons is a great place and a great event that has been going on for many years. Local fire company scouts from Troop 160 and PAC 251, the Abington Heights High School and their marching band, and so much more. There will also be a tribute to every branch of the U.S. military performing their songs by the Abington Heights High School Band. We'll also see council members and different things like that. This is just a great tribute up here in Clark Summit for our fallen soldiers, those who are serving actively, and those who have served. Again, thank you so much to all them. Let's see this awesome parade. VFW stands for Veterans of Foreign Wars, and as you can see, the commanders and the people carrying the flags are leading this parade. You'll then see now a procession from the Clark Summit Fire Company, number one incorporated. They present their flags and along with their badges representing a honor guard system here at the parade. Also, they have their turnout gear on, displaying what they do for a living and what it looks like to be a fireman. As you can see, the antique Clark Summit Engine 2 will also be starting the parade as well, kicking off the rest of the fire trucks as they will come down Grove Street. Let's discuss Ladder 4. Ladder 4 is next in line to come through. I believe it was purchased back in 2007 or 8. And this is engine. Okay, we still got another look at the ladder. It's okay. All right, let's take a look at engine number four. The, this is actually an original. Uh, this engine has been around since they were in their old fire company building. And the cool thing about this engine is, is if you notice, the wheelbases are very close together because this engine was actually custom designed for the Clark Summit Fire Company so it could fit in their smaller station. And it's still, as you can see, running and working really well. It's a very old piece of apparatus, I will say. It doesn't look it, but it is. 
Pirates. Let's kick things off here with the beginning of the parade, and it is being led by two police interceptors. They're actually Ford interceptors, and these particular vehicles are modeled after the Ford Explorer, which is one of the most popular American SUVs for its time right now. The Ford Interceptors are a gorgeous, sleek back look for a police vehicle. They really bring notice to your department, but they are also very effective in pursuit and operations. South Abington Police Department is- And the Clark Summit Police Department. The lettering that you see on the side right now, representing the neighboring town, which is Chinchilla, also known as South Abington. DFW Post 7069 coming down in the Mazda Miata command car. He is waving to me there, as you can see. Hi, buddy! <laughs> as if he can hear me as if I'm while I'm editing. <laughs> and a great turnout, as you can see. The Clark Summit Fire Company chiefs and different people doing the marching on front of the antique. Jerry, blow your horn! <laughs> that was an old friend from the fire service. You could see him smiling there. That was a definitely funny moment. Please welcome the Abington Heights High School marching band and cheerleaders. Let's take a look at the VFW ceremony. State Senator Marty Flynn. Clark Summit Council President. Each agency, department, and place can place their own wreath at the flag. They also did this at the cemeteries early this morning. Cub Scout Pack and Boy Scout Troop 251, Waverly Lodge. Taps that will be played by Phoebe Mates, who is in the Abington Heights Marching Band, and who I awarded the Robert J. Cramco Band Scholarship Award to. Phoebe? The Abington Heights High School Band then played each members of the military's songs. Ladies and gentlemen, it is to my great pleasure that I got to sit here and watch and be near this service as I do every year since I was 14 years old when I started with the fire service. A great respect to every single person who has lost their life for freedom, who is currently serving, and is who is going to serve because this country is amazing and the fact that we could come together and see such a great turnout on such a hot day is fantastic. So let's come together as we always should, one nation under God, America first, many people died for freedom. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, there's still more to this video, we're not going to end it here. Whew, it's hot, it is 85 degrees right now, it is hot, but you know what, it is so worth it. Um, I'm just so, again, like I said earlier, I'm just so happy to be a part of this community and seeing a community come together so strongly for our veterans of foreign wars of for freedom ladies and gentlemen so 
We need to love one another. We need to practice this more. We need more young people to be a part of this. And there was a lot of young people and that just makes me so thankful. So what is better to do on Memorial Day now than to grill? And just like that, we're back home on this Memorial Day. Well, the video's not over, like I said. Now it's time to cook and to do some other things. Boy, I'll tell you, the trees like dropped all these like leaves. They're falling all over the hot tub and everything. It actually looks really pretty though. Really, really pretty. So far we got my mother getting some supplies for the grill. And we'll see. All right, everybody, Memorial Day means grilling. We are going to grill and start off the next portion of the day. And we're gonna cook and we're gonna have some fun and we're gonna talk about what it's like to cook on a Memorial Day and you know what? What it's like to be free in this country. So let's, let's get the charcoal ready. Yeah. Should be able to just light all four corners. There you and go. that's it. Perfect. And now it'll light. Get nice and hot. Maybe it's too hot for the hot tub, huh? <laughs> I'll have to lower the temp, make it a pool. Alright, let's see what kind of food we have. So today's menu, we have baby little toma tomatoes, potatoes. We're gonna do a tenderloin, which is, I don't know how much I wanted that flavor, but we'll do that. And then we're gonna cook these with the husks on directly on the coals as soon as they are ready. Hopefully my bird seed doesn't start cooking above it here, but hey, we're ready to go. Those coals are super hot, but look how perfect and even they are because of the pyramid shape. Well, we're ready to throw the husks on. As soon as their flames are, yeah, we're pretty much ready. We'll put the husks on the edge. With those nice hot coals, we're just adding the corn like we were saying before. And we're gonna work on a recipe next that involves really simple stuff. All you gotta do is make a boat for your potatoes. You throw the potatoes in, get the Worcestershire sauce, some garlic, some butter, as you're gonna see here. And then you're gonna close those potatoes up and put them on the grill. These little guys cook within 10 minutes. I kept them on for about 15. And it's just gonna cook alongside the corn and the delicious pork tenderloin. And it just comes out awesome. It's seasoned great, the butter melts. It just is a great quick meal. I hope you love it. That's it. All right. Do some quick potatoes in there, little little cooking bag there, and then we're gonna put the tenderloin on and that'll be it. Let them cook for now. And that's what we got going on right now. We got the tenderloin right there, potatoes and the husk, husked corn uh, getting cooked there, so we're good to go. Meanwhile, the hot tub's nice and clean, but uh, definitely way too hot to go in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the potatoes, corn is done. Mm. Oh my God. Everything comes out good on the grill, everyone. Could we see a piece of corn real quick? Yeah, look at this. We're not eating around a table today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm exhausted, I'm tired. How could we open one up? Here, you hold that real quick. I'm gonna make a mess in my living room. Ready, go. Ooh. Watch your potato. Now, every corn even if it's bad corn, comes out good with the husks on. And I'm telling you right now, there's something in the husk, whether it's the sweetness or something, and it comes out and it just cooks the corn perfectly. And it's okay if it gets burned. The more burned on the outside, the more done the corn is on the inside. As you mm. can see, it's delicious. Mm. So we'll just keep that right there and clean up the mess. Enough. Do the pork tenderloin and we're gonna enjoy a delicious meal for Memorial Day. And I hope you are having a blessed Memorial Day as well. I hope you enjoyed this video because I'm really proud of this video. So share this video, share it to everybody you know, because that's what's gonna make this channel continue. 
and it's just sharing the good news that we are a part of an amazing country still, and we have to just be loving to one another. Thank you. And there you have it. Got some delicious pork tenderloin fresh off the grill. Oh, it's perfect. Folks, I think we're going to call it for right now. I think I'm going to take a siesta and just get some get some rest because I've been going all morning. And, you know, I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I know you know what to do if you'd like to see more. That button is right down the bottom there. You know, just tell the algorithm that you like seeing these videos. Thanks so much again for tuning in. Happy Memorial Day. Thank you again. I can't thank anyone enough who has served or is serving or has the um, the thought of becoming somebody who is going to serve. You know, I just thank you so much on this Memorial Day. And may God bless you, your families, and everybody watching. God bless. See you on the next one.